Hey guys, JHMORO1 here. Welcome back to another video. So I was out here today working in the garage, organizing some fishing tackle. I came across the travesty that is my fishing bucket. As many of you guys know, uh, whenever I go fishing, I just carry this trusty little five gallon bucket, throw in whatever I think I'm gonna need, and just leave it in there and never put it back up. And I thought, since I was doing that and organizing tackle anyway, I would show you guys my little tackle hub, my storage system, and uh, how I store tackle here at the house. Made super easy and I did it for really cheap. So I'm gonna go ahead and get inside, go to my room, and show you guys exactly how I did that. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so now we're back in the room. Hey Benny, how you doing today, buddy? Anyway, um, we're back in the room and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what we've got here today. There she is. I got this little plastic file cabinet system set up here, uh, organizing my tackle. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I set it up, uh, tell you guys where I got it from, and uh, everything you need to know about how you can do this yourself. So first things first, I went out to Walmart and bought these things. So there's two of them, see if I lift it up right there. There's two just stacked on top of each other. Uh, each one of these was like, I don't know, $15, $20, if that. Uh, I got them out at Walmart, but what I've done for you guys, down in the description below, there are Amazon links where you can just click that link, it'll take you right to Amazon, and uh, you can get however many of these that you need. So again, oh, let me, oh, let me take a knee real quick. There we go, this is a view. Uh, so what I've done here is, like I said before, I have six little drawers right here, and I've organized them accordingly. So let's say up top we've got soft plastics, next we've got flukes. I love my flukes, so I made a drawer dedicated to those. Uh, then we've got hard baits, we've got jigs and other skirted baits right in there. This drawer is like craws, worms, uh, all types of soft plastics in there. In the very bottom, the last drawer, is all terminal tackle. Uh, so we got some spare hooks in this little thing right here. Uh, we've got extra packages of hooks. We've got weights, swivels, you name it. We have all the terminal tackle down here in this drawer. And oh yeah, ignore that. That's uh, <laughs> that's extra stuff. We're, we're gonna find a home for it, but uh, for now it's just kind of vibing down there. We got, uh, we got fishing line, extra crankbaits. It'll find its way in there eventually. Here we go. I'll film with Benny in the background for a second. You, you fine with that, Benny? You fine with being in the video? Yeah, he's fine with being in the video. The reason I wanted to show you guys that is because it's so simple. You spend, what, $35, $40, if that, on two file cabinets, or if you need more, get more. If you need less, get less. And you can organize it to your needs. So, for example, this weekend I'm going on a trip. About 85% of my tackle is out in my bucket right now because I'm, I'm taking down the trip. Uh, but what I don't need, I leave back at home. And after I'm done with these trips, I come back, take the stuff out of the five gallon bucket and put in that cabinet back there, just so it's organized. So if you get a fishing trip that just comes up out of nowhere and you don't have time to organize things like the way you want to, go through your little file cabinet, pull some stuff out, throw in whatever backpack or whatever you're bringing with you, and you're good. It's just nice to have it all organized in one spot, if you know what I mean. And again, one thing that I've actually found with this, I don't think six drawers is enough for me. I may end up getting another triple set and sitting on top here uh, for like scissors, tools, pliers, uh, sunglasses, just, you know, extra stuff. Because as you can see from this, I, I just don't have room. I mean, the terminal tackle drawer is overflowing. See, there's extra stuff that's not even really terminal tackle. We got some like some boat cleaner we we got everything in here so what i need is another set like this and i might end up doing that but i just wanted to tell you guys you know six drawers seems like a lot when you're looking at it online or in the store but when you get home and start putting tackle in there it's really not that much and also yes i couldn't resist showing you guys my alligator guard jawbone got that that is so cool i've got two but that's a smaller one but yeah i keep these little guys on top i consider them good luck charms they're nice to have. Oh, and then I got the Guggenbait shirt. Go cop some of them. Those are good stuff. So yeah, there you go. Tackle organization part of this video is pretty much done. I just wanted to show you guys that little tip. Uh, super easy to do. And me, 
I'm about as broke as you can be, so if I can afford it, you guys can too. And it's just really, uh, really simple to do. So just as I'm looking back here, I'm also considering hanging up maybe like a, uh, a shelf right here or something like that. We've already got two nails in the wall, or two screws in the wall, rather, uh, right here. I might hang like a shelf and put some of my bigger ticket items, like uh, you know my guard jaw bones and maybe some like, I don't know. I, I feel like I might should put something up here, maybe something back there in the corner too. Just make this kind of like my tackle hub central. I might find like a way to stack my mystery tackle boxes as I get them up here, make a little uh, a pyramid of mystery tackle boxes. Uh, go check them out too, link in the description. You can get your first box for $10 if you never heard of them. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I just, I think that I want to make this corner kind of like my own little uh, fishing area. Of course, I've got uh, Benny right here, Benny in the fish tank right here. I feel like there's a lot more I can do back here in this corner uh, just to kind of make this more vibrant, I guess you could say. And also, many of you might have noticed this little small piece of paper right up here. Uh, if you guys can see that, there's a few names written on it. Every night at 10 p.m. Central, I do a live stream over on TikTok. My TikTok is jhmiller01. There's also a link in the description for that. Uh, I do a live stream every single night, and pretty much anybody who donates, I, they get put up on this board. So I get in there, I answer any questions that you guys have about fishing, uh, YouTube, Instagram, anything. So you guys come hang out, and uh, Join in, it's a fun time guys. 10 p.m. Central, be there. And also, I have a small problem with the uh, the big camera. Yes, I'm filming with my phone. I've been filming with my phone for the last few videos. Like, there's a problem. Whenever I film in video mode, occasionally it just freezes up and the footage gets corrupted. So, uh, I don't know. I, I've, I've not tried risking filming with this just because I don't want to lose all my footage. So, you guys have to work with the phone footage for a few days till I figure this out. Well, all right, Benny, you're going to be in the outro. That'll do it for today's video, guys. I think that's all I have for you today. Uh, again, links in the description for those uh, storage compartments things uh, you ought to look into it and if you end up doing it leave me a comment down below and tell me what you think about it and if you're new go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell too so that you don't miss a beat I'm doing daily uploads I'll have new content for you guys every single day so again drop a like I hope you guys enjoyed and until next time JH Miller went out see ya